in the previous lectures we have seen the momentum of inertia of uh, different shapes like a spherical shell and solid cylinder about the different axis of the rotation and uh, in this uh, lecture we are going to see the motion of this uh, spherical shell and the solid cylinder ro rolling down on an inclined uh, plane suppose this is a inclined uh, plane and here is that spherical body or the solid cylinder now let me call this as a position p at the time t is equal to 0 so this sphere or the solid solid cylinder is at a rest and after time t it will reach this point so let me call this point as a q so this solid cylinder or the sphere is kept at a height of h and let uh, theta be the angle and let let me call this distance as s so this is uh, nothing but the linear acceleration of this uh, solid cylinder or the uh, sphere now when this uh, sphere or the cylinder is at rest at point p then its potential energy is given by mg into h where m is the mass of the body g is the acceleration due to gravity and uh, h is the height from the earth surface now when this body rolls down this inclined plane then it will follow the translation motion and along with that it will go a rotational motion okay so the motion motion on an inclined plane is translation motion plus rotational so this solid cylinder or sphere it is moving in a forward direction which we call it as a translation motion and while moving from this position to this position this position so it is rolling also so that is called as a rotational motion so motion of a body along the inclined plane consists of translation as well as rotational motion so we know that this translation motion is nothing but it is given by one half m v square where v is the linear velocity and this rotational motion is given by one half i omega square where this omega is the angular velocity and we know that this i is moment of inertia of that uh, rotating body in the last unit we have seen the laws of conservation of the uh, energy which says that energy can neither be created nor it can be destroyed so this potential energy is converted into the kinetic energy so this uh, potential energy is nothing but equal to the kinetic energy and this is nothing but the kinetic energy of a body rolling down an inclined plane so this m g h is equal to one half m v square plus one half i omega square so we know that v is equal to r omega and therefore this uh, and we also know that this i is equal to m into k square so we can put these two values in this equation and therefore we are going to get m one half m r square omega square plus one half m k square omega square so this is mass is same so if we take the common one half m omega square so it will be r square plus k square and this is nothing but m into g into h so this m will get cancelled and i can write 2 g h is equal to omega square r square plus k square i can put this uh, omega as v upon r from this equation so just let us put that 
value of this omega as v square upon r square r square plus k square so i can write r square plus k square upon r square 2gh or i can write v square is equal to 2gh upon r square plus k square upon r square or i can write this v is equal to or 2gh r square plus k square upon r square raised to one half hold this one by using the kinematic equations we can write the v square is equal to u square plus 2as where v is the final velocity u is the initial velocity a is the acceleration and s is the displacement now considering this u is equal to zero we can write v square is equal to 2as and we have also calculated the value of the v previously or v square as 2gh upon r square plus k square upon r square now comparing this equation and this equation we can write 2as is equal to 2gh upon r square plus k square upon r square now by using the trigonometry in this triangle we can write this sin theta is equal to h upon s or i can write this h is equal to s sin theta now if the, if i put the value of this h as s sin theta so this s will get cancelled this 2 will get cancelled and we can write this uh, a as r square g upon r square plus k square this is the acceleration uh, of a rolling body uh, down an inclined airplane now let us calculate this acceleration for a spherical shell so for a spherical shell which is rolling down about an axis now the axis of the rotation for the sparing sh spherical shell will be like this and uh, the momentum of inertia of this uh, rolling body uh, passing through one of the end okay so that is given by i is equal to one half m r square and for this case so this uh, k square is equal to 2 by 3 r square so this is the radius of the gyration so this is a relation between the radius of the gyration and the uh, radius now putting these two values in this equation we can get so the value of r square upon r square plus k square will be so k square is 2 by 3 r square just let us put the value of this uh, k square so r square plus 2 by 3 r square now this r and this r are same so the equation will be 5 so this will be 5 r square upon 3 so this will be 3 by 5 r square will get cancelled call this as a let us call this as a equation number 3 now let us put this value of uh, r square upon r square plus k square as a 3 by 5 therefore we are going to get this a is equal to 3 by 5 into g so i have forgotten sine theta over here g sine theta upon r square plus k square so we have to add here g sine theta so this is the acceleration of a spherical shell rolling down an inclined plane now let us calculate the same acceleration for the solid cylinder for a solid cylinder we have already calculated the momentum of inertia so that i was one half m into r square but the relation between the radius of the gyration and the radius is 
k square is equal to one half r square so the value of this r square upon r square plus k square will be r square plus this one half r square this r and this are same so it will be 3 r square upon 2 so it will be 2 r square upon 3 r square it is equal to 2 by 3 and now if i put this value of this r square upon r square plus k square as 2 by 3 in this equation so this uh, a will become 2 by 3 into g sin theta now this is nothing but the acceleration of the solid cylinder rolling down an inclined plane now from this uh, expressions we just come to know that whenever there is uh, any body rolling down an inclined plane so the body consists of the translation motion as well as the rotational motion so it will have the linear velocity as well as the angular velocity it will have linear acceleration as well as the angular acceleration